Alright you guys, got another video here for you on customizing the look of Windows 11 taskbar. Now not everyone likes the look of the Windows 11 taskbar. There's not many settings you can change in it, but if you want to customize it, I'm going to show you in this video by using this tool here called Rounded TB. It's a free tool you can download on GitHub and you can also download it on the Windows Store. So download the Rounded TB here. Your version might be different depending on when you're watching this video. So I'm going to download this and drag it onto my desktop. And then we need to extract this onto the desktop here. So right click and extract all and then just click extract. And this will extract the folder with all the contents inside. Now I'm going to be putting this in my C root directory. That's so I don't delete it by mistake and I'll put it in there for safekeeping. So let's go ahead and close this off for now and then copy the actual folder in or cut and paste, depending on which way you want to go about it. So I'm going to go to Explorer here and open up this PC and then C drive, make a new folder in here called taskbar, or you can call it wherever you like. I'm going to call it taskbar and then copy that folder inside here. Let's go ahead and do this right here. So let's go ahead and open up the application. So we're going to go inside here. You'll see a bunch of languages. We're going to go down to roundedtb.exe. There we go. Double click on this one and it will open up the application for you. So once this is done, you should see something looking like this. This is just a welcome screen here. You can read all the information. It has just had a good update on this one. So it's always good to uh, make sure that these are fully updated before you use them. And this one has just been updated. And it looks a little tiny program like this. You can click on the advanced bit. And this will give you more options to manage your uh, top margin, bottom margin, left margin, and right margin. And you can also use the sliders and put in the digits to whatever size you want yours to be. So whatever way you want to go about it, there's plenty of options here available for you. So you can type in your numbers that you want your taskbar to look like here. So whether you want to use these numbers, you can play around with it. It's not going to hurt it none. And uh, you can always uninstall it and put it back to default settings if you wish. So if you want to go ahead and type in these, you can do inside the margin area. You can put check marks in these boxes as well for dynamic mode, show system tray, and you can also uh, show system tray on hover, uh, translucent uh, TB. That's another little uh, tool that we're going to take a look at in a second. But check mark everything that you want for yours. Now, if you're using this one here, we can get the actual program and download it. So we're going to go over there and get that in a second. But once you're happy with all of your settings, you can then uh, set it up and then go into here and put in the top margin, bottom margin, if you wish. Or you can use the sliders, whatever way uh, suits you. So again, there's plenty of options available for the actual taskbar here. So let's take a look at it in action and see what it actually does. So I'm going to apply this and you should see the shape of the taskbar change. It's got rounded edges and also it's a little bit more narrow. So if you don't like that big and bulky uh, taskbar, you can actually narrow it up a little bit. Now, again, you can play around with this to suit your needs. And uh, you can either use the sliders, like I've said, and you can go ahead and put dynamic mode in here. And you can see it's now removed the middle part. And it's also put this other area down here. You can auto hide this as well. So it just hides. And then you, when you hover, it will come back up. If you like that sort of idea, you can go ahead and put a check mark in here. And apply this and let me just show you it disappears and then when you hover over it it comes back so if you want that just nice simple small sort of mac os look you can get that with this particular type of tool so very very useful indeed and again fill taskbar when maximized you can do that as well it'll get bigger as you expand and put more tools in there so pretty nice looking uh, taskbar now to make this finalized and make it look even better we can put our translucent effect on here as well so we need to go ahead and get that application so let me apply this and go to get the uh, program which is on github and i think you can also get this on the windows store as well so i'm just going to get it from github because that's where it's uh, easier to get it for me but i'm going to go here and download the file here you can see it's only a tiny little file so i'm going to go ahead and uh, come down here you can see the latest versions here Click on this and down in here, you should see some download sections here. So we're just going to get the executable part. So click on this installer and we'll get it downloaded. Now it's a tiny little application, but we can now double click on this and it should open up. Now it does tell you that it is in the Microsoft Store app as well. So what we're going to do here is launch when ready and click on install and this will install 
uh, the application for us. Now, what this is going to do is add a translucent effect to our taskbar. If that's what you want to do, you can install this and it will look translucent. So let's go ahead and click continue here. And uh, that should then apply this. There we go. So let's take a look and see what it looks like once we get this applied. So as long as you've got the check mark in there, everything should be good. So let me close this program off now. You don't need to leave these open. And there you go. It's completely transparent and clear. So this one's the clear one where you won't see any part of the taskbar, but you can set it up to have it sort of a uh, transparent or you can have it just t slightly with a gradient color as, as well if you wish. So this is the application here and you've got full customization on here. You can edit it and do a bunch of other stuff. Accent colors here. I'll just quickly uh, set this up and you can have a quick look and uh, you can work this one out for yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory here. So you can make it a different color if you wish and uh, change the transparent for it as well. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. You can have it as one solid color as well. If you want to do this, you can do, but you can also do that in Windows. And uh, there we go. We've got a slight uh, transparent look here with a little bit of a uh, shade on the background of it. You can mess around with it with more time when you're doing it. This is just for tutorial purposes. And there you have it. That's basically how you can customize your taskbar in Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. A special shout out for Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, uh, Gary Belts, and Albert Houston for joining my tier three group. Don't forget, if you have joined my uh, YouTube members group and you do use my Discord server, don't forget to let me know in the general chat and I will give you the appropriate role. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.